Concerto for Violin and Werewolf is a story from Tales from the Crypt number 42, drawn by Jack Davis. Violinist Sasha Barrick takes a stagecoach to a locally feared destination in Transylvania. The roads are bumpy, and they get worse the further they go. At last, Sasha reaches the dilapidated town of Brudha. He goes to the home of one Vasil Iorga, his former teacher. The elderly man does not recognize Sasha, but despite appreciating the visit, he warns Sasha that he should never have come to Brudha. It is too dangerous here. Vasil reminds Sasha that Brudha is inhabited with werewolves, and tells the story of a traveling married couple that was attacked 20 years ago during a full moon. This was back when Sasha was still a student of Vasil's. Sasha remembers the incident, but blames the attack on wolves in the woods. Vasil will not relent his belief in werewolves, and shows recent newspaper stories of more attacks. All during full moons. Another full moon is in two nights. Vasil begs Sasha not to stay in Brudha. Sasha is not afraid. He always carries a revolver to protect himself and his prized Stradivarius violin. While Vasil is impressed with the violin, Sasha asks for any silver he can melt down to make silver bullets. Sasha wants to kill a werewolf. The publicity will do wonders for his career. He stays with Vasil, allowing him to play the cherished violin. Sasha casts a number of silver bullets as Vasil performs in the background. The next day, Sasha walks into town. Everyone stares at him unwelcomingly. Feeling concerned, he feels his coat for his gun. But it is gone. Sasha runs back to Vasil's home, where the old man confesses to stealing the gun and throwing it down the well, claiming to fear for Sasha's life. Sasha is touched by his once teacher's concern, but has no intention of leaving town. A month-old newspaper is delivered to Vasil. The mail is slow in Brudha. Sasha reads an article about a party of five from Chisasi celebrating a wedding anniversary, who drunkenly wandered into Bruja during last month's full moon, and were found dead, stripped to their bones. Vasil is no longer disturbed by such news, as it happens so often. However, this gives Sasha an idea. Tomorrow, he will head into Chisasi to purchase a new gun. The next day, Sasha walks to and from Chisasi, seven miles each way. He returns to Vasil's house with his new purchase. That night, he plans to go into town, hiding the gun in his violin case. Sasha casts a new set of silver bullets, as Vasil obsessively plays the Stradivarius. The old man is captivated with his former student's Stradivarius. Sunset is approaching, and Vasil begs to join Sasha that night. With the gun in the violin case, the two walk into the seemingly deserted Brudha. But it isn't long before Sasha and Vasil are surrounded by the townspeople. Everyone transforms. Sasha is amused. He knew there had to be more than one werewolf. He figured it out from reading the newspaper stories and filled in the blanks with a Tales from the Crypt comic called Midnight Mess about a town full of vampires. Smart of this comic book character to use comic books to his advantage. Sasha opens his violin case, ready for his machine gun loaded with silver bullets, but to his horror, the case holds only his prized violin. Vasil is also a werewolf. He brought his former student to Brudha, and he wants that Stradivarius violin. Concerto for Violin and Werewolf is a different kind of monster story, and one I wish was adapted for the show. The European village adds a unique atmosphere from the overwhelmingly American settings we see from the crypt and its sibling magazines. The opening pages on the stagecoach feel reminiscent of Todd Browning's Dracula, emitting a creepy mood for the middle-of-nowhere town. I can't think of another werewolf story centering its conflict around a duet of musicians. The action fan in me is curious about what a full town of werewolves versus a lone violinist armed with a barrage of silver bullets would look like through the eyes of E.C. 
but setting up a former student to be eaten by your fellow shapeshifters to get his valuable violin? Materialism at its most savage. The werewolf fun isn't done. Tune in next week for another concert of the lichen variety. Thank you.